My name's Debbie Cooper, I'm Digital Artist Training Curator at Quad. I've worked with staff at Quad and partners from national museums and galleries and local partners to develop this artist training programme. We wanted to make sure that artists working with Quad in the surrounding region and further have a range of digital skills that are really useful to arts organisations and useful to their future careers. So we developed a range of programmes and workshops and activities that enable them to have digital confidence, to be able to do digital research and augment their current practice with digital skills. There's so many fantastic artists out there who have a fantastic practice but maybe don't know how they can add more participation skills and more digital skills to it. My name's David Booth, I'm a, a fine artist in Derby. I want to be able to add an element of interactivity, so it, it's adding a, a different contextual layer. Uh, my name is Farhad Rahman, um, I'm a photographer. My work is mostly documentary photography and photojournalism. I was just thinking to bring digital art into my practice and make it more interactive. My name's uh, Sam Metz and I'm a, an artist mainly focusing in performance, um, but I'm really interested in research as well. Um, up to this point I'd mainly use kind of digital elements to document and I thought there was kind of more scope to use them in creating and kind of expanding the whole process of my work. Uh, my name is Laura Mossop, I'm an illustrator and digital painter. Um, I was interested in coming on the course because it would offer uh, getting a lot more knowledge about new technologies that are emerging and I felt like I didn't know enough about that and I was really interested to see how it could link with a lot of the digital painting techniques um, that I was learning um, instead of just keeping the, my artwork on a 2D page, really bring it more into 3D and allow people to uh, participate with it a lot more and get more interaction into my work. A digital artist training is incredibly important to Quad for a number of reasons and quite often the digital element of artist training is one thing that's overlooked so we were very keen to kind of put a special emphasis on that. I think one of the things that's often overlooked in terms of the arts is that we're all part of a supply chain and digital artist training for us is absolutely crucial both on a local and regional level for us to be able to have enough artists that we can access and that have got those skills that are relevant to the types of activity we're delivering um, as well as providing um, valuable skills, information and knowledge to those artists so that they can work in many different contexts around the country. Uh, I'm Dom from Ludic Rooms and um, I've been here today trying to get the participants I guess to have a play more than anything else. We've been hacking and drilling and soldering uh, them so that they can be repurposed, played with, experimented on and generally taken apart and put back together again. To look at how uh, we can program interaction and how we can kind of develop a more uh, co-creating role with audiences with our work. Through this programme we've also developed collaborations with Pervasive Media Studio at Watershed and Tate Digital. This has enabled us to look at where we are as an organisation and what our digital offer is and what our offer to artists and to the community is. It's very nice of uh, Tate to collaborate with us to offer a showcase platform for the artists to test out their new participatory projects with, with the public. The showcase day at the Tate was a really great opportunity and was able to show the work at uh, an open day uh, and present the work to, to the, the staff at the Tate. We get the chance to meet other people and people have some feedbacks in our works and it was generally it was really nice to share our, our work. So this Digital Artist Show and Tell is the first time that we've collaborated with the showcase is really an opportunity for them to bring that to a new audience here in our digital studio at Tate. So we're really pleased uh, to be involved in this partnership. It's been fantastic working with um, Debbie, particularly because she's a practicing artist. Debbie's been like really friendly and massively supportive and um, really open to being asked any questions.
For me, the course has been really informative. I've gained experience of uh, a lot of different digital techniques. I've been able to sort of consider them and, and, and get a focus on where I want my work to go. We've, we've gone through different softwares, different new technologies to combine with my previous work, which was documentary photography, and that was absolutely amazing. To, to anyone who's considering coming on the course, I'd heartily recommend it. We've each taken uh, the experience of the workshops and applied it to our practice in, in our own way. When you can combine your work to, with digital, it's just amazing. It's, it's just taking it to another level, I guess. New skills, new ideas, new thoughts, new creative um, thinkers within the space and within us as an organisation, which all feed into our overall programme objectives, themes um, and hopefully successes in the future. For arts organisations, our future is the artists we work with and we need artists who have amazing skills, who are confident about their practice, who are ambitious, that we can work with, collaborate with and enable to grow, which will also enable us to grow.